Good afternoon. This is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. In spite of a push by some in the community to raise money to keep it open, officials with the warming shelter still plan to close down the agency on October 1st. Warming shelter officials said they will end a period of 11 years as the city's sole emergency center for unhoused people. They had made that decision in early September and affirmed it in a Wednesday press conference. The center in downtown Sioux City operates on a budget entirely made of donations, with a concerted effort not to rely on state or federal programs. However, they did not have enough money to continue beyond this month. One of the warming shelter's board members, Joe Twidwell, said the difficult decision to close gives other possible agencies some time to plan for how they might help some of the unhoused people. Some people over the last two weeks have begun raising money to direct to the warming shelter. The shelter is short about $500,000 for the next year ahead. But Twidwell said that the financial reality is that to be effective, the shelter really needs funding for five years to be truly impactful. The warming shelter executive director, Shayla Moore, said she was proud of the good the center has done since 2013. More than 150,000 nights of shelter were provided, plus other resources for unhoused people. On Thursday, Sioux City Councilman Alex Waters said the city has been providing more resources, time, and staff to combat homelessness. Additionally, Morningside University officials on Wednesday announced the launch of a Master of Business Administration, or MBA, program starting with the next semester in January 2025. They said the MBA program is a highly anticipated addition to Morningside academic offerings. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.